Welcome to the first video in my new series titled Two Minute How To's. Videos in this series are designed to get you the information you need in two minutes or less. In today's video, I'm covering how to remove the power supply on a Mac Pro 2009 through 2012, also known as the Mac Pro 4 comma 1 and 5 comma 1. This is a Mac Pro 2010 5 comma 1 that I purchased as a part of a lot of 29 Apple computers that I bought down in California. If you missed that video, I'll link to it above right now. But let's get in. This is a broken one, and so I'm actually parting it out and selling the parts online. So I'm going to show you guys how to take the power supply out of a Mac Pro 4 comma 1 or 5 comma 1 the 2009 to 2012 they're all pretty much the same body style and when dealing with the power supply the process is the same between the two models first thing we're going to do is open up the case by pulling this lever out and the outer piece will just fall down now we need to slide the optical drive tray out. This one doesn't have an optical drive in it, but as you're pulling it out, if you have a CD drive or tray, you'll need to grab the cables from behind and unplug your optical drive. So now that that is out, we need to unscrew those two screws using a Phillips screwdriver. And this tray will just pull right out, exposing the wires connecting the power supply to the logic board. We can just unplug the power supply but before we slide out the actual power supply unit, there are four screws underneath the power supply that we need to pull out. The power supply is held in place by these four hex T10 screws. Once you've removed those four screws, you can go ahead and sit the Mac Pro upright and gently begin to slide it out. You'll need to kind of feed the cable through to the other side as you're pulling it out. Then you're able to break the power supply free from the Mac Pro, you're free to insert a new one. Thank you for watching the first video in the new two minute how to series. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos like this that are two minutes or less, hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. And I can't wait to see you guys next time.